so please uh, go to the toilet then come back uh, so according the obstetrical examination we can know the presentation of the fetals we can know the fetal heart uh, and uh, how to uh, what's uh, the engagement uh, so please go to the toilet empty the bladder then come back okay uh, when she, when the patient are coming outside we better prepare everything where the equipment <laughs> right. yes also, and uh, also we can ask the nurse to check the blood pressure and the uh, weight of the patient then ask her to lie down and uh, of course if you um, you don't know the history you can read the prenatal card we will write everything on the prenatal card each time the examination details we can read from the prenatal card uh, and uh, take on the mask and uh, the cap if needed. Uh, wash hands, warm the hands. Uh, then prepare the surrounding. And if uh, there's a lot of person, ask them to come out. We will have the examination. And uh, let the patient lie down on the spine, uh, on the back. And uh, relax the legs, please. All right. Put your hands at the both sides uh, and uh, then inspection if they have the the big uterus uh, big abdomen like the term um, pregnancy the gestational age is uh, 37 weeks okay so the founder is uh, at the three fingers so we can know okay, the, not too big not too small uh, if too big, uh, we must think about the twins' pregnancy, uh, too much uh, amonic fluid. If smaller, think about a fetal uh, FGR, all right? Then uh, we can see if any uh, strial, uh, what's the color? If any scar, uh, describe the um, scar shape. Uh, if caesarean section, it's just uh, above the pubic arch transverse and if a vertical what's the size in the middle and uh, sometimes uh, maybe have the small scar of the appendicitis or laparoscopy one two three four a smaller one only one cm or 0 0.5 cm right down mm. and uh, if any scar ask patient uh, when did you have the operation why did you have operation? If she had a caesarean section, why you have the caesarean, be uh, caesarean section before? Is it, uh, what's uh, the indication? All right. So uh, also we must see if any uh, uh, what to say? Jing Mai Chi Zhang. Jing Mai is yes, and uh, then uh, if. Uh, the bladder for or four of urine you can see be uh, watery uh, and uh, also if everything is okay oh sometimes uh, if patient have icp itching and you can see the scratch uh, so if like that you'd better ask her do you feel uh, itching in the uh, several days uh, if she said yes we must check the CG, uh, check the uh, blood test. Uh, so if everything is okay, uh, we will start our um, four step maneuvers of Leopold or the founder of the uterus. So the rudder. Okay, so first I want to do the uh, circumference first. So uh, please uh, remove it, uh, your body and uh, try to use the ruler. So uh, the ruler um, around the abdomen um, and uh, we can read above the umbilical cord. So it's about 100, 100 cm. Um, and then we can use this, palpate the middle point of pubic arch, put it here, then palpate 
under. It's a 31 cm. Okay. So according the circumference and the height, we can imitate the beetle weight. All right, it's normal size. And then we try to palpate the beetle presentation. First, we palpate the fundal of the uterus is this size as the same as the gestational age. Ah, oh, yes, oh, the term pregnancy. And then palpate what part is occupying the fundal of the uterus. The baby's head, the baby's patak. If baby's head is uh, uh, occupying the fundal of the uterus, you may palpate a wall. It's round, hard, and floating inside. But uh, if protac is irregular, and sometimes you can feel the kicking uh, the legs. So now protac is in the upper side. And uh, two ends finished. And the second, we will uh, separate our, our hands at the both sides of the abdomen. One side fixed, another one to palpate. If flat, that means the back of the baby. Another side, palpate, oh, irregular. The legs here, the feet here. Okay, according to that, the limbs is at the right side of the patient. So don't push together. Uh, so one side fixed, another one to palpate, use the fingers, All right? Mm. So this is the second step. For, uh, third step, we separate the throne with uh, four other fingers right side of the hand. Then put your hands just above the pubic arch. So we try to know what's the engagement, if it engaged or not. So two aims. For this patient engaged already, but the baby's head is small, uh, smaller than the normal size, I think. Uh, so if the head is here, it's just wrong. And uh, if uh, mm, mobile, not engaged. If uh, the feet is here, you can feel the small mm, limbs. Uh, and if uh, if uh, batak, it's bigger. <laughs> and uh, if engaged, you can't move it and uh, mm, fixed. Already. So the fourth step, we must face to the feet of the patient. Then put our fingers at both sides of the pelvic. And so same, two aims. One is palpate which part is engagement. Uh, it's a head, round, but uh, small here. And uh, another is what's the, uh, if it engaged or not. Uh, engaged already, uh, can, cannot move, uh, it's round inside. So these are uh, four step measures of level count. Okay, so after that, we can know the presentation of the baby. So baby's head here, protect here, limbs here, back is here. So I think for her, mm, here is easy to ask it. So use this uh, uh, how to say pinata. Yeah, pinata. okay, features copy. <laughs> but another name? Pinata. Ah, pinata. So put it here. So we can. Um, range of the beetle heart is 100 to 10 to 160. For this, I think fast, too fast. Uh, yes. The normal. This is okay. But for this, it's, yeah, so use your watch, count it one minute, right? So we can do that. Mm. So uh, uh, sometimes uh, we can use Doppler equipment. Mm -hmm. So just uh, put the gel on the detector, then um, get the sound, uh, and the uh, patient can hear it. Mm -hmm. So let her relax. Uh, especially the high-risk pregnancy patient, right? 
So uh, after we check that, we can try to give the pelvic metry. <coughs> so ask her to strengthen the legs. We can palpate the po uh, um, anterior spine. First, okay. The normal, can you know the normal? 26. Yeah, 26, uh, 23 to 26. Mm -hmm. And the widest one is into crystal. 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 Yes, diameter is uh, 20, 20, yes, 25 to 28, mm -hmm. right? Mm. So I think this pelvic is enough, right? But uh, you know, if uh, the patient is too fat, it look like a big uh, uh, pelvic, but you know, the pelvic for, for the fat, the baby is still difficult to deliver. Mm. Mm. All right, this one, okay, is normal. And then ask the patient, turn, left side yes and then the left leg relaxed another one stretch the knee so palpate the middle term upper side of the pubic arch please help me fix it yes and this side just to find out the posterior uh, spine. spine yes so 1.5 yes 1 .5. cm and try to hold it right so normal size is 18 to 20 yes mm -hmm. right okay then the last one we can get to the pelvic yeah of course if we use this it's easier oh so of course the patient will have the this ultimate position and we can use this. Uh, before we use it, zero, check, and then find out. Uh, it's uh, almost a 10. And also, you can use this one. Of course, there are still tissues between the bone, so this one. You can read a 10. Also, we can use a fist, it's enough, mm -hmm. uh, not too small. And then, if smaller than nine, uh, than eight, we can use this one. Yeah, fixed it, and find out the code. Then, according to this, we can fix it. So we can read the point here, read the point totally more than 15 cm is enough, right? Then after that, you can use, uh, you can check the pubic arch angle. So put your hands more than 90 is okay. So uh, this position of the patient, uh, this autonomy, or uh, hold the both sides of the knee. So after that, uh, uh, of course, um, we must take gloves and then wash hands as a patient. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. Uh, we have finished. And according to the, uh, this check, I think your baby is okay now. And uh, so please uh, um, go back to your uh, bedroom and uh, we will talk about the procedure. Uh, right. So uh, if needed, ask patient to get get up because uh, big belly difficult. Yes, and then wash your hands.